Hello everyone, welcome to another day in the life video again. It's kind of my go-to video format for when I don't have a whole load of new progress or interesting features to show you. Um, but I'll tell you more about what's going on with the game in a bit. Right now it is only 20 to 7, so no rush. I'm just on a walk with Rufus at the moment. Then I'm going to get some breakfast. I've got a few chores to do. And then I'll get started with some programming after that. Nine o'clock now, finally ready to get started with some programming today. I've just been getting a lot of chores done this morning. Always lots of watering, plant watering to do during the summer. Plus I had some accounting work to do today. And then every morning I also try, I try to do half an hour of replying to comments and emails. So I've just been getting all that done and now it's time to get started on the game. So what I'm working on at the moment, and have been working on for the last couple of weeks, is redesigning how you use tools in the game. So uh, I can just show you what I've done so far here. Um, so previously the way that things worked is that you had to click on each tile to carry out an action. So for example with the shovel tool here, I have to click on each tile to dig it. So click, 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 click. And then if I want to plant some seeds, I equip the seeds, and then click on each tile again. Click, 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 click. And I had a couple of issues with this system. Firstly, it's just loads of clicking. You're clicking the whole time, which just gets tiring after a while. And then secondly, whenever I watched anyone try out the game, they would very quickly realize that the faster they click, the faster they can get things done. And they would just start clicking like crazy and going crazy with the mouse. And that's just not how I want the game to be played. It's meant to be a nice, relaxing, laid back experience. So I've made a few changes and the way it works now is that you don't have to click on each tile, you can just hold down the left mouse button and move the cursor from tile to tile to carry out the actions. It still has to be tile by tile, that's important for how the gameplay works, um, but you now don't have to click the whole time anymore, which is already a big improvement. And then to fix the second issue, each action now takes a certain amount of time to complete. So for example, when I'm digging, you can see the tiles aren't getting dug instantly, it now takes, in this example, about a second to dig a tile, uh, which means that the player can't just go crazy with the mouse. They now have to do it calmly, tile by tile. So obviously this whole system is still very much a work in progress. Um, I think the biggest thing that's missing is visual effects and sound effects when you're carrying out an action. So for example, when I'm digging, you'd expect to see some particle effects and sound effects of digging, maybe even some cracks appearing on the tile while you're digging, you know, similar to how things work in Minecraft, for example. So obviously still loads to implement, but the fact that you don't have to click the whole time while playing the game is already a huge improvement. And uh, I've got a few more improvements that I want to implement today. So what I've actually been programming this morning so far is I've been allowing different tools to have different action speeds. So just as an example, this shovel here, when I use it, it's very slow, takes a long time to dig with it. And this could be like the shovel that you start off with at the beginning of the game. And then as you progress and get more money, you'll be able to buy better tools that are much faster. So for example, this shovel, you can see it not only digs faster, uh, but it also does four tiles at once. So you can dig your beds a lot quicker with this. Next up today, I've just been kind of redoing how item stats work in the game, or how they work in the code. Um, you can see in the shop that the speed stat for the tools is now displayed here, um, but don't worry too much about how the UI actually looks at this stage, that's all temporary. Um, I've more been concentrating on the back end side of this, how the item stats are stored and handled and how they're presented to the UI, and then the actual displaying of these values and the actual design of the UI, that's something I'm going to be working on at a later date. Um, but right now I want to very quickly just add one more new item to the game. Here's the new tool in the game, it's a slightly broken wooden shovel, and this is what you're going to start the game with. Uh, it's very slow, so you'll quickly want to upgrade to the next model of shovel, which is this one here, which is a bit faster. 
and then obviously as you as you make more and more money you'll be able to get better shovels with better range and speed stats i'll probably also add durability to the tools at some point so that will add even more combinations of possible tools that i can add to the game the point is there's going to be loads of different tools uh, lots of different stat combinations and lots of opportunities for you to upgrade your current tools uh, with the money that you make from selling vegetables so that you can farm quicker and more efficiently. So, this afternoon I'm going to be working on some of the other tools other than shovels, um, but right now I'm going to stop for my lunch break. First up this afternoon I'm updating all of the tools in the game to use the new tool system because up until now it's actually only the shovel that was using the new system, all the rest were still using the old click system. Um, so I've just been updating the harvesting tool as you can see here and a few others and I can quickly show you the sort of thing that I have to do here. It's not too much work because they all use the same base class, um, so here I'm implementing the new weeding tool and all I have to do is I have to fill in these few methods. Um, so in this one, I just have to write the code for checking whether this tile is suitable for weeding. So that would be just, is it a soil tile? Is it, has it got weeds on it? And then in this method, I need to put the code for what happens when the action is complete. So for the weeding tool, that would obviously be remove the weeds from that tile. So it's not too much work. It's just a case of working my way through all the tools and updating them. I finished updating the tools, now I'm working on implementing some of the feedback I got after the last devlog video. So last time I was working on compost heaps, you could fill them up with plant matter and then there was a tarp item that you could use on the compost heap to cover it up and start converting that plant matter into compost. Um, but quite a few people mentioned that the tarp item seems a little bit pointless and you should really just be able to click on the compost heap to start converting it. And the reason why I didn't do this last time is because previously the only way to carry out any action in the game was to equip an item and then use that item on either a tile or an object. There was no way to directly interact with an object in the world without using an item on it, uh, which is why I added the tarp item. But based on all that feedback, I thought I probably should rethink that and it might actually be a good idea to be able to directly interact with objects in the world. So that's what I've just been implementing and I've just implemented the concept of interactable objects which you can now interact with by right clicking on them. So left click is how you use the tool that you're currently holding, right click is now to interact with objects in the world. There's currently only one interactable object in the game and that's the house which you can right click on to access your storage but now I'm also going to make the compost heap interactable so that I can remove the tarp item. So I've got that working now, the tarp is always on the compost heap rolled up at the back and then at any point, doesn't matter what tool I'm holding, I can now right click on the compost heap because it's an interactable object and that covers the compost heap with the tarp, that unrolls the tarp and starts the composting process. So that's good, uh, it's 3 o'clock now, time to get some exercise I think, so I'm going to go for a quick bike ride. I was just thinking a bit about how the watering tool works and I was thinking that now that actions take a bit of time to complete, maybe it makes more sense for the soil tile to not instantly switch from completely dry to completely wet at the end of the action, but instead as the action is progressing the soil tile can slowly turn from dry to wet. So I've just been implementing that and uh, I think it works quite nicely. 10 past 6 now, pretty much finished for the day, I've just been working my way through a few more tasks to do with the tool system, um, still got a bit more to do with the tools as you can see, but once I'm finished with this tool update, there's only one more little update to do and then I'll be finished with version 0.2 and I'll be finally able to move on to version 0.3 which is the big graphical overhaul, I'm going to be completely overhauling the look of the game, getting it close to the art style that the final game is going to have and adding in all the visual effects and particle effects that the game's been so lacking so far. 
And then after that, I'll be moving on to the UI. I'll be properly designing all of the UI in the game, adding sound effects and music as well. And then after that, I've still got lots of plans. I just haven't worked out what order everything's going in, so that's why it's not in Trello yet. Um, but I think by the time I've got to version 0 0.4, I'll have a really solid base game to start building up upon, and then I can start adding in all of the content and the fun features and all the, all the good stuff. But back to the present, still obviously kind of laying the groundwork, working on these core systems, the tools, and the inventory. So it's not quite as exciting right now, but the interesting stuff is coming soon. Anyway, I'm done for the day now, so time for some dinner. So that's it for another day, haven't really got much else planned for this evening so I think I'm just going to get a head start on the editing for this video and then get an early night. Uh, before I finish I want to give a big shout out to the top Patreon supporters who are Alex, Frederick Darlin, Dave Handley, Chris Naismith, TRC Terracoin, Seven Sign Bits, Albert Gutierrez, Alan Lance, Yuri Kralovec, Josiah Hillman, Busfara Walter, Dieter Reinert, Harry Chung, John Needham, Christopher Poe, Adam Farkas, Mario Martins, Gregory Horvath, Hagen Vingard, Matthew Connaughton, Thomas Johnson, Leandro Di Pietro, Miggy Doze, Andrew Witt, Marek Mikolajczyk, Sean McCrory, Caffeine Coda, Timothy Gibbons, Alexander Chavez, and Neil Blakey Milner. So a massive thank you to you guys, and of course to everyone else supporting me over on Patreon. For this video though, that is it, so thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.